don't want you listening to me talk. I don't want you to know where I am. I don't need you collecting stuff in the background. Definitely don't want the police to know where I am. Hey guys, in this video we're going to uh, do a rundown of how to partition a hard drive using boot it bare metal. Uh, and you would do that if you would like to use more than four partitions or you simply would like to do four, any amount of partitions much faster than you could do um, any multiples. So uh, for instance, if you're going to install two hard drive, do two partitions only, uh, it is still faster to use boot at bare metal than it would be to use the Windows disk alone. If you're going to do five partitions, you cannot use the Windows disk. You are limited to four partitions only. So let's get after it, guys. Okay guys, I'm gonna run you through um, how to partition a hard drive using boot it bare metal. This is a paid service, it's about $39.99, so it's well worth the, uh, the cost. So what you would do is you'd go to Google and uh, Google boot it, as in one word, B-O-O-T-I-T, -T, uh, bare metal. And you'll find this one by Terabyte Unlimited, which I believe is an IBM company. So when we go there, there's gonna be this boot it bare metal uh, we're looking for this partition manager, $39.95 cost. Um, but what I did was I, you know, I found the actual boot. I clicked purchase, uh, this boot collection, boot it collection. That's what you're going for. Uh, that's the $39.95. There are other options. You can buy other tools or other, other tools with it. So it comes with the boot manager, the partition manager, the UEFI NDOS uh, based drive imaging system. Lots and lots of features built into this. Uh, so basically you click one of these checkouts. I used the My Commerce because I use My com Commerce on our website. So I know it's secure. Uh, and you just check out and you get a, you immediately get your um, oh, product key is what I'm looking for. So uh, basically let's uh, exit off that. And then if we just transition over, make this a little easier to see. So basically, after you purchase it, you can download it. You can download this without even purchasing it and use it in demo mode first. I don't know the procedure for going from demo mode to paid. I don't, I don't think you have to redo all of your work. I think you can just put in your product key. I'm not sure, though. Uh, so basically, you'll download the Boot It collection off their website. You can just, right next to the purchase button we clicked a second ago, there was a, a uh, download button. You could download this. You're going to open uh, the file and unpack. It's going to be a compressed file, so you'll have to just extract that if you just right-click and click Extract. Uh, basically, if you open uh, Make a Disk, which is a executable file, it'll say the first step in installing the boot collection. So there's a couple things we have to do first. First, we have to do is make a boot disk. So basically, make like a Windows installation disk, kind of. But instead of Windows, we're going to be using the boot it bare metal hard drive, or, or not hard drive, but OS. It's like its own operating system, kind of. So what we did here was just create a bootable USB drive, one that we can boot from. So it's got like a little mini operating system on it now. Uh, because whenever you get a brand new hard drive and you get a computer, you don't have an operating system. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll go to the next part, and I'll show you how to boot from this drive. So we'll click close here, and we'll kick right on over to that. Okay, so that's completed. We'll click OK. Click close. Then we're back on the main operating screen. This is where this this doesn't show up first. What shows up first is the screen I showed you. You'll click resume because we've kind of done what we needed to do. So we're going to go to the setup. It says click OK button to install Boot at Bare Metal on the hard disk. That's what we want to do. Don't do anything else on here? I'm going to click reboot. And it okay, so I was waiting there for a few minutes. Uh, so this popped up the Windows setup. So what we're going to do, and basically what I'm doing right now is just installing Windows on one partition, the partition we just made called domestic. So we made sure all that stuff was correct. We click install now. It should be bringing up our options for um, for which partition, which hard drive, whatever options, quite a few options there. It's going to be asking us where we want to install this Windows. And I'm going to show you why we're doing it this way 
over just making a bunch of partitions and installing them because there's a few more features built into the boot at bare metal that make it much nicer than just a standard uh, like a BCD editor that allows you to partition a bunch of stuff. So we're going to make sure we read this end user license agreement fully and understand. Click next. I want a custom install. So you see we have the boot it hard drive. We have the one labeled domestic and we have one labeled unallocated. So let's see here, let it do its thing. So it's going to restart the computer and I'll probably again just lose the, the image and have to readjust that. All right, so again, we're just um, we just installed Windows. We're letting it uh, do its little thing. It's it's going to start all the way up to the Windows screen and let's see here. Of course, taking its sweet time. So I'm just going to stop the recording here until Windows boots all the way up, and then we'll, I'll show you what to do from there. And then basically we're going to go through and finish setting up Windows. Now I'll show you why this is, a, show you a couple things you want to do if you're going to set this up for programming. Okay, with a keyboard layout. Um, we'll select one of my Wi-Fi's here at the house. That one I'm probably closest to. Sure, I can allow it to be viewable in my network. It's a clean install of Windows, so I should be good. I want to make sure you log on to some kind of internet connection. Because now we have some important setup to do, and there are some important things on here. And I'm not telling you how to set up Windows, but I'll, I'll show you what I do um, to hopefully have a beneficial programming laptop setup. And then once we get done with the Windows setup and we move back to boot at bare metal, I'll show you why using boot at bare metal is so much better than doing it with just a Windows disk. Uh, I always say personal use because I don't know what, if I say organization, if they're going to make me pay extra or something. Once we have a Microsoft account, so I'll just click offline account because I'm not actually going to sign into my Microsoft account right now. I'm okay with a limited experience. I don't know about you guys. I'm actually not. It'd be best if you don't write domestic. You don't want to write anything from this point forward that's specific to this hard drive. So you could just put, you know, mine. Uh, I don't want to use a password, so I just press next. Do I want Cortana personal assistant. I personally don't. I don't want device history. I also don't want you listening to me talk. I don't want you to know where I am. I don't need you collecting stuff in the background. Definitely don't want the police to know where I am. I don't want you to change stuff because you think you want it. I don't want it that way. I don't want you to mess with my keyboard. And I don't need you to produce a specific identifier for me to help give me advertisements for products. You'll go ahead and uh, restart and then do it again and then restart and then do it. And basically just keep going back to updates, check for updates, let all the updates happen uh, and restart until it just shows up green right here that says you're up to date. Okay. So now if we go back up here to the top. We move the, go back to this BIOS. So now this partition that says domestic is like fully loaded out. It's a fully installed Windows. It's it's everything. It's got it's ready to go, right? But you want like four or six or eight more of these, and you don't want to have to do that over and over and over again. So what you can do super easy is have it highlighted. Press copy. Got to click a free space that's open. Click paste. And we're gonna um, okay. I'm going to say okay. So now we want to reboot. You go okay. So I want to either boot domestic, Asian, Euro, Volvo, and it could have 10, 12, 15 of them on there. If you've got a big enough hard drive where you can partition it out, you can have as many of them on there as you would like. 
Um, and then there's the other video on there if you would like to use just a Windows disk alone and you need no more than four partitions, there's a much simpler uh, way to do this with just a Windows disk. It does take longer. Um, it would take longer to do four partitions than it would to do uh, with the Windows disk and it will to do eight partitions with boot at bare metal. Um, so there is that, but it is cheaper and it's less complicated to use the Windows disk. So if you only need four partitions, uh, just check out that video. But the gist of everything you need to set up the partitions with boot at bare metal is all there. So thank you very much. We'll see you next time.